RealAgriculture.com's coverage of Crop Week 2012 in Saskatoon is brought to you by Nodulator XL, Accelerated Performance, Accelerated Yield, and Cantera Seeds, Yes You Can, and FarmLink Marketing Solutions, Market Analysis Works. I mean, uh, you know what, uh, pulses have competed well uh, with cereal grains and uh, oil seeds for many, many years. We don't see that changing at all. You know, we see, uh, you know, an opportunity to take it, you know, higher up that value chain to create more value and actually to expand the acreage and to, you know, as a trade, we're going to work to meet the goal of the Saskatchewan Pulse Growers, which is, you know, 7 million acres by uh, 2025. And we think that that's a reasonable and sustainable figure. This is a crop rotation. I mean, uh, People will change temporarily to chase the dollar, but the long-term sustainability of the Western Canadian farm is based on the rotation of cereals, oil seeds, and pulses, and we can't ignore the nitrogen-fixing benefits of pulses. They're there, and they're making money growing them. That's not going to change. So 2011 might be a challenge. 2012 would be a breakout year for pulses in the winter. Well, I mean, we've had a number of breakout years. If you look at the last, uh, you know, uh, five years, you know, we're in a challenging environment today because of you know, weather events uh, that have uh, boosted the price of cereals and oil seeds in other parts of the world, you know, we think that pulses are going to remain very competitive and 2012 will be a year that will move like normal. I mean, this isn't discretionary goods. People consume these products every day. You know, the higher value stuff I'm talking about is how do we include pulses in uh, pastas, breakfast cereals, you know, bakery products, foods that we eat every day, chips, tortillas, you know, cereal bars, all of those kinds of things will contain, you know, lentils, peas, chickpeas, faba beans in the future. It's because of the protein and the nutritional profile. That's all new stuff. But you know, the old stuff is India, the North African, Middle Eastern countries that are in a bit of political strife right now. You know, governments there are encouraging food import to, uh, you know, allow the uh, populations to have access to, you know, properly priced food. You know, I always say a basic building block of civil obedience in the world is full tummies. And so, you know, food to opportunities in North Africa and the Middle East is another thing that I think will lead us to have a good year in 2012. So India will still be the key market here, but they're, they're having trouble, I understand, as far as the you know, amount of pulse they have in that country right now. They have too much almost, is that? Well, I mean, there was imports, uh, but, you know, I think that the weather, um, you know, forecasts that we're hearing on the upcoming uh, harvest for March, you know, they are in deficits in a number of areas of production in terms of monsoon rains that came, and timely rains are needed to finish their crop. I think that uh, India will have an average crop at best. I think the stocks will move out of the market, and uh, in 2012 we'll have good opportunity into India, and let's not forget the neighboring markets. Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and the Indian subcontinent in general drives a lot of our pulses. Are you happy with the way research is going into some of those new uh, avenues for pulses that, that you say will increase the acreage uh, long term? You know, I mean, uh, we, we are the envy of the world in that we have a self-funding R&D program. You know, where growers pay a check off, the trade, we collect it, we give it to the Saskatchewan Pulse Growers who partner with the Crop Development Centre and other research organizations. We have varieties and research that's being done not for curiosity, but for commercialization. This is the key thing. I mean, research for curiosity is a passe thing of the past. Research for commercialization creates value, and I think that we're leading the world today in terms of Canada, and you know that's a position that's, uh, that makes everybody very competitive. Any specific projects being done here that, that come to mind? Well, I mean, you know, there's a number. We continue to have advances in, in uh, the Leno program, you know, we're talking about higher yield, more characteristics for milling, you know, better green color on green lentils, you know, a faba bean program that's being launched uh, by uh, Saskatchewan Pulse Growers and CDC. You know, faba beans are a crop that you haven't heard a lot about, but you know, a significantly higher nitrogen fixing ability than peas. So looking at eastern Saskatchewan and Manitoba, areas of Alberta, there's significant opportunities on the faba bean side. And uh, when we look at peas, it's about breeding peas for protein for the protein markets and building peas, uh, breeding peas for starch, for vermicelli noodle, Chinese dumpling, and uh, you know other uh, markets in Asia. We see all of that as exciting value creation opportunities. 